Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, the cast for Dancing with the Stars Season 32 was announced this past Wednesday and I'm so excited. I really only know like three or four other people on this season, but that's fine. Um, the cast looks great. I'm really excited. So basically in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the cast. Um, so I'm basically gonna, I'm basically gonna go through each celebrity that's on this season tell you guys their name and what they're best known for. I'm not going to go too much into them. And then obviously I'm going to tell them who their partners are. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys my rankings based on personal excitement, like how excited I am for each couple. Um, just based off, just based off vibes and basically you, basically it's usually it's kind of biased. Because I feel like every time I do a personal excitement rankings for each couple every season, I always put the people that I know first. Just because I actually know them and the rest I'm just judging based off vibes on pre-season. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going to go through each celebrity and talk a little bit about them and their pro. Um... Well, their partner, and then I am going to go through my rankings based off of excitement for each couple. So, first is Tyson Beckford. He is a supermodel, and his partner is Jenna Johnson. She's, I think this is her first season back since she had her son um, last year, I think, and she won season 26 with Adam Rapon. Next, now I'm not 100% sure how to say her name. It's, it's something like Zochi Gomez. Something like that, but she is a Marvel star. I think she's the youngest person on this season. Um, I think she's like 17 years old or something. Um, yeah, she's a Marvel star, and her partner is Val Schmikowski, and he won season 20 with Rumor Willis and season 23 with Lori Hernandez. Next is Allison Hannigan. She's an actress, and she is best known for roles in How I Met Your Mother and American Pie. And her partner is Sasha Farber, who has not won a season yet, but my mom and I actually kind of love him so yeah um I'm really excited for her I don't really know her too well I've heard of How I Met Your Mother in American Pie but I don't I haven't heard much about her but based off of like vibes I'm getting from her and her energy she seems so sweet I love her already and yeah I'm excited for her I got why did I say I got anyway next there you go. It's Harry Jowsey. He is a reality TV and social media star. He is best known for being in Too Hot to Handle. And his partner is the newest pro, Riley Arnold. This is her first season, and she's actually Lindsay Arnold's sister. Lindsay was on Dancing with the Stars from... She was a pro on the show from season 16, I think, to season... I think her last season was season 30, and that was... Back in 2021, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, yeah, her sister, Lindsay's little sister, Riley, is now a new pro. She's only 18 years old, so I think that makes her the youngest pro to ever be on this show. So that's exciting. I'm really excited to see what she can do. She was on, Riley was actually on Dancing with the Stars Jr. She was on, she was a pro on that show as well when she was back when she was, like, 14, 15 years old, um, 13 maybe, I don't know, some, somewhere around that age, early teens, early to mid-teens, um, so basically she was partnered up with Miles Brown, um, when he was, uh, in his early teens as well, and they were actually mentored by Lindsay, and now Lindsay's little sister, the girl that she mentored on Dancing with the Stars Juniors, is now a pro on the adult regular Dancing with the Stars show. So, I'm really excited for them. Can't wait to see what kind of stuff Riley can come up with in her choreo. Next is Charity Lawson. She is a bachelorette and her partner is Artem Shigvinsev. Love Artem. Cannot wait to see him again. And he won season 29 with another bachelorette, Caitlin Bristow. So the last time he was on the show with a bachelorette, they actually won. So, we'll see how this goes with Charity. I'm excited. Um, next is 
Ariana Maddox. There you go. Um, she is a model and an actress, and she is best known for Vanderpump Rules. And her partner is Pasha Pashkov. Next, I'm really excited for this one. I really didn't, I honestly didn't expect him and, like, one other celebrity, which I will get into her in a second. But I really didn't expect her and this next guy I'm going to talk about to be on this show. But, man, am I so excited. I love his songs. Well, really, I've only ever heard one of them. But I love it. Um, it's Jason Mraz. He is a singer. And I, I don't think I know many of his songs, but I do love... Um, one of his songs for sure. It's I'm Yours. Such a good song. Love it. I really hope he dances a foxtrot to that song at some point, or even just to one of his songs, cause, because I feel like I have heard a couple of his songs, but, like, I can't, it's like, some of his songs are probably, like, it's kind of hard to explain, but you guys ever had, like, a song that you... Definitely have heard it before, but you don't know the title of it. Like, you have to listen to it to be like, oh, yeah, I've heard that song. That's how I feel towards some of his songs. I'm sure I've heard, like, most of his songs, but I only can put my a finger on the title. A finger? Oh, my goodness, I can't even speak. I'm, I've probably heard a lot of his songs, but like I said, the one that I actually know the title of and can put my finger on it is I'm Yours. That's what I meant to say. But, yeah. I'm really excited for him. His partner is Daniela Karagot, 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 whatever. Um, love Daniela. She's incredible. Love her choreo. Every season, she kills it. So I'm super excited she's back. She just had a baby back in May. So, yeah, congrats to her and Pasha. Um, but she won season 30 with Iman Shumpert. Next is Adrian Peterson. He is an NFL star, and his partner is Britt Stewart, who... This is, I think, her fourth? Fourth season, maybe? Third or fourth, somewhere around there. Um, she hasn't won a mirror ball yet, so... And I don't think she's going to win this year because I've heard some stuff about Adrian. Um, not going to get too much into that. But pe if people don't seem to like him. But hopefully his dancing can make up for that. Anyway, we move. We're moving on. Next, okay, this is who I mentioned earlier when I said that I wasn't expecting this person to be on the show. This is the second person. is Lele Pons. She is a social media star and a singer. Love her. I've seen her TikToks and her posts on Instagram. She is hilarious. So, and I feel like she's going to do really well. I saw a video of her doing like a little bit of salsa with her husband on a boat or something like that, and I think she can do pretty well, especially at the Latin dances, um, but her partner is Brandon Armstrong, love Brandon, he's one of my favorites, um, next is Mira Servino, she's an actress, and she is best known for Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion, and her partner is Gleb, Gleb Sevchenko, next is Jamie Lynn Spears, she's an actress, now I, every time I go on Twitter, I see this person, or this person, every time I log on to Twitter, and Instagram and Facebook, and I see posts about Jamie Lynn Spears on Dancing with the Stars, everyone keeps saying, oh, she should be voted out first. I hope she falls on her face and chokes and gets straight ones all week, or every week that she's on. And I'm like, okay, I can see why y'all don't like her, but honestly, I'm very excited for her. I've been a fan of her since Zoe 101. I haven't seen Zoe 102 yet, but I'm, yeah, low-key, I'm pretty excited for her. Y'all can say what you want about her, but I'm actually kind of excited. Anyway, her partner is Alan Burston. He won season 28 with Bachelorette Hannah Brown. Next is Mar Mauricio Umansky. He is a real estate agent and an actor. And his partner is Emma Slater, who won season 24 with Rashad Jennings. Next is Matt Walsh. He is a comedian and an actor. And his partner is Coco Iwasaki. And this is actually her second season of the pro as a pro. Last year, she did pretty well with Vinny Guadagnino. He wasn't the greatest dancer, but they did go pretty far, so... Prop, prop, what am I trying to say here? Applause to them! I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Whatever. Okay. Next is... And the final celebrity, actually, is Barry Williams. He is an actor, and he is best known for the Brady Bunch. And his partner is Peter Murgatroyd, who won season... I forgot to put, put this part in next to her name, but whatever. 
She won season 14 with Donald Driver and season 22, I think, with Mal DeMarco. So that is the entire cast, and now here are my rankings for the whole cast based on excitement. So obviously first we have um, Lily and Brandon. No shocker there. Um, like I said, her and... Um, um, like I said, her and Jason are the two that I'm most looking forward to. Um, yeah. Those are the two that I actually really know besides Jamie Lynn. So, yeah. Um, so number two, like I said, Jason and Daniela. Number three, now this is number one, which is Lily and Brandon being most excited for, and 14, because there are 14 couples, are least excited for. So, most to least excited for them. So, anyway, moving on. Like I said, number two is Jason and Daniela. Number three is Charity and Artem. Number four is Harry and Riley. Um, number five is Jamie Lynn and Alan. Number six is Zochi and Val. I think that's how you say your name. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I think that's how they said it on GMA during the cast reveal, but moving on. Number seven is Barry and Peta. Um, number eight is Allison and Sasha. Number ten is... Not number ten... Number nine, I skipped a number, is Ariana and Pasha. And number 10 is Tyson and Jenna. Number 11 is Matt and Coco. Number 12 is Mira and Gleb. Number 13 is Adrian and Britt. I was going to put Adrian at the very bottom based on the stuff that I've heard of him. But I feel like I'm more, I would be more excited to watch them dance than Mauricio and Emma. Which means Mauricio and Emma are in my least favorite, my least, most my least except, what am I trying to say here? Come on. Mauricio and Emma are the ones that I'm least excited for. There you go. Anyway. But yeah, it's not that I'm not excited to see Mauricio dance. I'm just not getting a lot of energy from them like I am with some of the other couples. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, it's raining right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my window's open, so you might be able to hear it, but... Yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm super excited for the show. Um, the show starts September 26th. And for the first time ever, actually, this year, it Dancing with the Stars is moving from Mondays to Tuesdays. So instead of every Monday night, it's going to be every Tuesday night. So obviously, um, on my blog, I will be doing two blogs a week now for the duration of the show. So from September 26th to whenever the show ends, October, November, something, whatever. Um, it's not going to be in October because Halloween week on the, on the show this year is on literal Halloween night. So sometime in November, that's all I know. But for the duration of the season of the show this year, I will be doing, of course, two blogs a week. Um, around Sunday or Monday. Um, or maybe Tuesday before the show. And that night, I will be doing um, a recap from the week prior for that week's show. So, for, I just gotta pull up my calendar for a second. Yeah. So, the premiere is on September 26th. So, the Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday after that, October 1st, 2nd, or 3rd, will be my recap for the premiere. So, yeah. Um, like I said, every week, um, starting September 26th, I will be doing two blogs a week for the duration of the show. Um, like I said, so Sunday, Monday, every Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday will be my recap for that week. Um, and then later that week, I will be doing just my regular, usual blog that I always post. So, yeah. So I think that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.